And why behold you the mote that is in your brother's eye? But consider not the beam that is in your own eye. Or how will you say to your brother, Let me pull out the mote out of your eye? And behold, a beam is in your own eye. You hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of your own eye, and then shall you see clearly to cast out the mote out of your brother's eye. Now this is Jesus speaking in Matthew chapter 7, verses 3 through 5. Basically, to sum it up, nice house, be careful throwing stones. Now what does this have to do with anything? This has to be the most unbelievable psyop propaganda moment I have seen to date in the election. So, Joe Biden comes out and makes some sort of off-color garbage comment about Trump supporters, and it's now the end of the world. This is the bridge that's too far. Joe Biden, a man in his 80s, people that we know tend to lose filters when they reach that age, end of his presidency, nothing to lose, comes out and fires back. And all of a sudden, a bunch of people who have been throwing stones at the guy for three years have their feelings hurt? It reminds me of the bully at the playground who finally runs into the kid that decides to haul off and take a shot at hitting him in the nose and lands one, and then the bully goes crying to the nurse. How about we hop into the Wayback Machine? Let's go, Brandon. You see, this was perfectly fine. To say any amount of vile thing that popped into your mind for a month? No. Six months? No. Three years about someone that you disagreed with politically. And then finally, only days before the election, where he's going to be leaving in a matter of months, he finally says, you know what? These people that have been saying all this negative crap about me, you know, I think they're garbage. And all of a sudden, the mainstream media and everybody loses their mind. Oh, my, so inappropriate. I can't believe what happened to mean tweets. What happened to mean tweets being the preferred method? Because he didn't use a computer or he didn't use a phone to go to a, some website and say this? Because he just said, look, they're garbage. That's the end of the world. Well, all I can say is thank you to everyone who's joined us over at Patreon. Because you guys are now stood up and very well aware of how psychological operations work. And you can probably see right through this. It is the most unbelievable form of hypocrisy I have ever seen. And for those of you who think, well, wait a minute, wait a minute, Maki, we were calling one guy a name. He was calling everybody's a group. So were you. Real quick, so were you. For a long time, I've got the receipts. I've got the proof. But those of you who would like to get read in, on psychological operations. Our next video, next 24 to 48 hours, is going to be for the next level up. The last video we did, just dropped a day or two ago, brand new content, was for everybody. The $1, 5 10 15 everybody was there. Now we're going to take the content up to the next level, and it's going to be the need-to-know brigade and unit commanders that are going to be in the room. And what we're going to talk about is something that a lot of American men believe to be true, about American women, that is completely false. You see, they perceive that there has been a change, and there hasn't been. And I can show evidence that it's actually, and ladies are going to actually love this one, it's actually the American man that has changed in the last 70 years, not the American woman. So once again, if you'd like to join us over there? Base level is only one US dollar. Next video is going to be 5, 10, and 15. But there are hundreds of videos over there, hundreds of them going back many years, available for everybody. And, once again, 90 days. For 90 days, it is fully refundable. No questions asked. Now, if I had a dollar for every person over the last eight years that I've been doing videos, for every person who typed the term demon rats 
referring to Demo Democrats, all Democrats everywhere. I wouldn't need a Patreon channel. I wouldn't need to be monetized. I don't even know that I would need to do very much for a living at all if I had a dollar for every person who typed the term demon rat. This guy wrote a book written by Carly Miller. Demon rats. A shocking journey into the liberal pits of America. As if all Democrats, all Democrats everywhere, which is kind of funny given that Donald Trump was a Democrat for nearly a quarter century. Donald Trump was a Democrat for nearly a quarter of a century. It's uh, it's just amazing to me. And oh, in case you you know think it's just limited to certain corners of the internet that people say this, this is Judge Janine. Judge Janine from Fox News using that term on a major news network to refer to all Democrats everywhere. Everyone who's not a Republican. Which is kind of ironic given that now most Trump supporters think a good portion of Republicans are also the enemy. But this, you know, to see this now um, is just unbelievable to me that we have, well, let's see if we can get the picture here. Let's get it right. Let's get it right. This group of people, this group of people who hire strippers and put them in fishnets and then get their little kids around and teach them to flip the bird and print up giant banners saying, well, I guess, what is it? Let's go, Brandon. All of a sudden now, all of a sudden now on uh, the, the day before election day, they're going to they're going to uh, pray and fast. Really? You see, there's biblical purses, purposes, pardon me, for praying and fasting, but this isn't one of them. To strengthen prayer, to seek God's guidance, to express grief, to see deliverance or protection from something, to express repentance and return to God, to humble oneself before God, to express concern for the work of God, to minister to the needs of others, to overcome temptation and dedicate yourself to God or to express love and worship to God. This is for the election of Donald Trump. I need people to really stop for a minute and take a breath. Like I said, we are at a place in this country where the choices are dismal. I don't remember any place in the Bible where they rolled out giant gold statues of men, at least in the Bible, it was perceived gods on earth. That's why the Ten Commandments says, thou shalt not have any other gods before me. It's not that other gods don't exist. It's just you're not supposed to have them before God. Almighty God, capital A, capital G, Almighty God. But this group of people up here are now all of a sudden the praying and fasting ones so that we can have a return to a much more beautiful, blasphemous Christmas tree all over the White House. Yes, Christmas trees are blasphemous. Period. End of statement. I dare you, in the comments, to try to convince me that Christmas trees are not blasphemous. I challenge you to do that. All this nonsense around Christmas, Saturnalia, and all this nonsense will be much more pleasing to the eye if this guy and his mean tweets grants you cheaper gas and groceries. And a hedge of protection around socialism, even though I can show you scriptures in the Bible in Acts that talk about the disciples having all things in common. And oh, by the way, those of you that want to take issue with me with this whole thing, this uh, female form image uh, fixation that people believe I have, Believe me, there's going to be a day come in this country when you're going to wish, when you're going to wish there were more men who were enamored with the female form because we're going to see something that nobody wants to talk about, a massive collapse in the birth rate to the extent that we will go extinct. And by the way, the woman pictured here is a sitting congresswoman from the state of Florida. The woman you see pictured here is a sitting congresswoman from the state of Florida. There's all sorts of talk now. 
from both sides even, from both sides, even the Trump camp and the Harris camp, that they want to be the, the they're, they're in a horse race, horse race to unity. The horse race to unity. Who's going to be seen as the great unifier? Is it going to be Kamala Harris? Is it going to be Donald Trump? Chanel Rion from OAN had it right. Unity with the insane, no matter which little letter in parentheses is behind their name, is a death sentence, as in come out from among them and be ye separate. Another Bible verse. She says, give me division. And she nailed it. Give me division. Criminals don't obey laws. And I would also like to challenge anyone who doesn't like to get into the whole Christmas is blasphemous kind of thing, the whole Bible thing. I would like for you to explain to me how somebody can, or a group of men, not just somebody individual-wise, can run up $35 trillion in debt and then explain how that's um, the path the world should follow as far as freedom and liberty and whatever ism, capitalism, socialism, whatever ism you want to put behind it. When you can run up $35 trillion in debt in less than 100, in truly less than 100 years, and then basically having an endless credit card, a lot of people could have any ism they want installed in whatever group they wanted, and if they had an endless credit card of money to support it, yeah, you can make a lot of things look like they work. I, boy, I could tell you what. Imagine if you had an endless credit card. You probably wouldn't understand the suffering of people or their view on the world or their opinions on politics when they actually have to pay their credit cards. When they actually have to pay the bills. These people don't. They're criminals. And you have to wonder about anyone who wants to go sit and preside over hundreds, thousands of criminals with a never-ending credit card and say that that person has some moral, more moral direction than another. So, just saying. People say, Florida Marquis, I want the truth. I want you, I want you to show us the truth. Okay. Nice house. Careful which direction you throw the stone, though. Those of you who'd like to get read in on PSYOPs and why people aren't saying, hey, wait a minute, these people, these people are now the fasting and praying ones? Really? That's interesting. Join us over Patreon. Next video, next 24 to 48 hours. Like I said, we got four levels over there, $1 a month, $5 a month, $10 a month, $15 a month. And we've got a decent amount of people at each. Last video we did, it's only a day or two old, was for everybody. 1, 5, 10, and 15, everybody, welcome to that one. Believe me, that's something you're definitely going to want to see. But we're going to take it to the next level for the next video. Need to know roundtable, plus both levels of commander, unit commander and brigade commander. And then after that, we'll have, once again, our joint briefing, unit and brigade for the 10 and 15. And then, of course, the follow-on video will then always be just brigade commanders only. So I will leave it there. So, make whatever decision you want, but let's keep the receipts, shall we? Let's not deceive ourselves about, and I set my face unto the Lord God to seek by prayer and supplications with fasting and sackcloth and ashes, the idea being putting away all the things of this world, to focus on prayer in an unselfish way. And if your prayer is going to be, let's install this man so our groceries are cheaper. Let's install this, let's pray to install this man so that our gas is cheaper. Or so that we can continue to call names to people that we disagree with politically and build golden statues and worship and be blasphemous in a much more eye-pleasing way then maybe you should take a minute. Maybe you should take a minute. Because that is the argument, isn't it? Tell me I'm wrong. Is that the argument? 
The idea is we need to be as rich as possible. Not moving toward being rich as possible is moving toward socialism, and we can't have that. So, Chanel Rion, well said. Unity with any group of people who are insane is a death sentence. Criminals don't obey laws. And why behold you the mote that is in your brother's eye, but consider not the beam that is in your own eye? Or how will you say to your brother, let me pull out the mote out of your eye, and behold, a beam is in your own eye. You hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of your own eye, and then shall you see clearly to cast out the mote out of your brother's eye. Matthew, chapter 7, verses 3 through 5. And I'll leave it there. God bless. Pray for each other. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. Lift each other up. Join us. Patreon. God bless. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.